Good afternoon. So today's video is going to be a little bit different than usual. I know Tim and I have been doing a lot of sit down videos at night and kind of talking to you guys about different subjects. Today I thought that I would look into some affordable options at Disney resorts. Now I know that we stay at Shades of Green all the time and we hype them up and we talk about how great they are and they are and we still love Shades of Green. But I know there's a small percentage of you guys out there who have been considering their options and wondering if it would be worth it to try to stay at a Disney resort instead of Shades of Green. There have been a few changes at Shades of Green lately and so people have started thinking about this more. The walkway for instance from Shades of Green to the Polynesian is no longer an option for everybody. Currently in August of 2023 the laundry rooms are being refurbished and I know that has deterred people from staying as well. Our argument for Shades of Green has always been it's just a wonderful environment, the location cannot be beat for the price, and mostly it's the most affordable because there's no taxes. That being said, if price is the biggest factor for your family, you might be asking yourself if Shades of Green really is the most affordable place for you to stay at Disney. So, since I have some time here today at my computer, I decided I'm going to go ahead and call Disney directly and see what kind of rates they can give me in 2023. There are a lot of factors that go into these special military rates, and I'm going to go over those with you so that you don't get your hopes up. For instance, if you wanted to stay at the Polynesian bungalows, those are not included in the military rate offers, so that is off the table. So what else is excluded from the military rates at Disney? That's going to be the three bedroom villas and suites in the moderate and deluxe resorts. Also the cabins at Cobber Creek, the cabins at Wilderness Lodge, the Little Mermaid standard rooms at Art of Animation, the bungalows at Polly, which we've already mentioned, the villas at the Grand Floridian Resort and Spa, the campsites at Fort Wilderness, anything at Pop Century, off the table, and everything at Caribbean Beach Resort, that's also off the table. If you didn't have your heart set on anything that I just mentioned, you still have a chance to get one of these military rates. I also want to talk about who is eligible to get these rates. So that's going to kind of be similar to Shades of Green. Everybody that's active, that means reserve or active duty. Anybody that's retired. And a spouse with an ID can also use these rates, but it's going to be in place of the service member. So just like at Shades of Green, if the service member isn't able to be with you on your trip and you're a spouse with a valid military ID, you can get these rates. You're going to have to show your ID when you check in though, so just make sure that you have an eligible and current military ID to show them. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get Disney on the phone because once again, these promotions are not listed on Walt Disney World's website. There is a special number that you need to call to get these military rates. That number is going to be 407-939-2000. Welcome to the Walt Disney World Resort. We're glad you called. Now, what can I help you with today? Military special rates. Okay. Questions about your tickets? Please remain on the line for the next available agent. If you are a DVC member, press 1. If you are calling about an annual pass, press 2. To buy a new theme park ticket, including special events, press 3. If you already have a theme park ticket, press 4. Thank you so much for choosing Walt Disney World. My name is Jonica. Am I speaking with Ashley? Yes, this is Ashley. Hi, Ashley. How are you today? I'm great. How are you? Yes, ma'am. And Ashley, what are you looking forward to doing on your vacation this year? Um, well, we usually stay at Shades of Green, um, but I wanted to see what kind of military rates Disney offers to see if they're comparable. So we don't really have any specific guidelines right now. I just kind of wanted to get some prices and start from there. Okay. Lovely. Lovely. Well, welcome back home. Um, in regards to our military discounts right now throughout the year of 2020, 
their travel dates are January 1st through December 15th of 2023. Um, our discounts vary by resort tier. What accommodations are you looking for or theming wise? Well, so Shades of Green is really affordable and so I think I want to try to find something that's comparable to that. So it sounds like that's going to be one of the all-star resorts or maybe Art of Animation. Perfect. So an economical resort today. So mm -hmm. I'm happy to take a look here. All right. So sometime in September, did we have an idea of how many nights we'd like to stay? I'm going to say four right now. Our resort rates vary depending on time of year, mm -hmm. arrival, and departure date. So for example, the price per night for a Friday to a Sunday might be different than a price Monday through Wednesday. Okay. Does that make so let's say, um, let's see, Sunday through Wednesday. So maybe September 10th through September 13th of 2023. Yeah, we can check that. So I do have availability here for Disney's All-Star Sports Resort with an economical accommodation and the military discount arriving September 10th of 2023 for three nights in a standard room. That total, including tax, is $448.60. Can you possibly check another week in September and see if the rates change? Yes. Would you like me to do the following week, so September 17th for three nights? Yes, please. Now, in your experience, would you say that All Star Sports is the most affordable between all three of them? Yeah, so Disney's All-Star Sports Resort right now is the most economical okay. because it looks like that's one of the only options right now for a standard room, which would be your most economical accommodation Okay. in regards to room type. And then just to verify these prices that you gave me, are these after tax? Yes, that's the total including tax. Okay, great. Okay. Wonderful. Well, it's been a pleasure talking to you, Ashley. Yes, I appreciate your feedback on the survey. You have a magical day. Great. Thank you. Thank you. We value your feedback regarding this call. Okay. I don't know how much you guys were able to hear her because she was extremely soft-spoken, but I wrote everything down, so hopefully I can kind of put all this together and make some sense of this, but I will- I'm not sure I understand. Thank you. Thank you, Suri. Based on my experience with going to Walt Disney World for as many years as we've been going, I can confidently say that August and September are probably going to be the most affordable times of year to go. When you book through Disney, the prices will fluctuate based on the time of year and how many nights you're booking. When we're comparing that to Shades of Green, the prices don't change. They are the same price all year long, of course until October 1st when the prices go up, but that's because that's the military fiscal year and we already know about that. But when I'm comparing all these prices at the Disney resorts, I'm picking three nights each time to make sure that it's comparable. I did Sunday through Wednesday because if you heard her, she was saying that if you book a, let's say a Friday and a Saturday, those days may cost more than say a Monday or a Tuesday because they're the weekends. So I tried to go with a more affordable chunk of time and I chose Sunday through Wednesday. I hope that makes sense. I hope you guys are following along. We can start with the earliest dates. Today is August 8th. I asked her for three nights, August 20th through the 23rd. There were no standard rooms available at All Star Sports. There was a preferred room and that was $441.86 after tax. Again, I should add this is all for two adults and one child and these are all going to be at All Star Sports. I confirmed with her that that is the most affordable resort to stay at right now. I don't really know what the reasoning is, but if we're talking about price, that's probably what you're gonna wanna choose. So 441 was August 20th through the 23rd. If we bump it one week out, so August 27th through 30th, there was a standard room available, and that was $388.80. Going back to the week of August 20th through the 23rd, since there wasn't a standard room available to compare with the rest, 
I adjusted the days a little bit and I went with August 29th, which is a Tuesday, through September 1st, which is a Friday. So it's still three nights, but different days of the week. And that was a standard room, and the total for that was $382.04. Now that was our most affordable total overall, but I want to note that it was a different chunk of time than the rest of them, so take that how you will. Now we're into September. I asked her about Sunday, September 3rd through Wednesday, September 6th. Again, three nights, all-star sports in a standard room. After tax for two adults and one child, it is $421.58. So the price is going up here. We bump it out another week to September 10th through the 13th. Same thing, three nights, standard room at all-star sports, two adults, one child, $448.60. The following week, September 17th through 20th, same room, All-Star Sports, $456.32. And then finally, September 24th through the 27th, All-Star Sports, standard room, two adults, one child, total is $456.60. So if we're looking at all of these dates between the end of August and the end of September, the best price is going to be August 29th through September 1st. It's a Tuesday through a Friday, and that was the 382.04. That's the cheapest price that I could find. If you wanted to do a Sunday through a Wednesday, you could go with this one. It was $6 more, but August 27th through 30th, $388.80. So let's take that one just for the sake of it being comparable to the rest of the list, let's go ahead with this one, the August 27th through 30th, 388.80, and let's just compare that to Shades of Green. Okay, so we are on the Shades of Green website. We'll go ahead and put our dates in here, and we're going to compare it to what we just found through Disney. So we're going to do August 27th. I just hope these dates are available. They may not be through August 30th. Yes, I'm eligible. Please be available. Okay, we do have some availability. So that's good news if you wanna book a last minute trip. So let's see, get the old calculator here because mama is no good at math. Standard room, as you know, Rooms are based on category, so if we're looking at the E1 through E6 category one, the most affordable price, it's 163 flat. No taxes, no room fees, no resort fees, nothing like that. So it's 163 times three nights, right? Mm. Three nights. Lowest price, $489. That means that it is cheaper, even after taxes, to stay at All Star Sports. Standard room, $388.80. That's $100 less. I hate to say it, but if, if we're looking at price alone, which is what this whole video is about, All Star Sports is going to be more affordable than Shades of Green. In this case, you may want different dates. You may want to go to Disney from, let's say, Friday to Tuesday. The price will probably change, so keep that in mind. If you call and you want to book weekends, like Friday nights and Saturday nights, the price is going to be different than what I'm telling you right here. You have to remember that the price per night does change at Disney. So again, this is August 27th, it's a Sunday, through a Wednesday, August 30th. It's cheaper. Now, you may only get these certain days off, or you may only have this much money to put towards a vacation. So it's gonna be, you know, whatever is more important to you, whatever you're able to pull off. But just keep that in mind. I know we always preach that Shades of Green is the cheapest, and they do have the biggest rooms, and the location cannot be beat. But when you're looking at price, check September rates, check August rates, and check middle of the week. Check the all-star resorts. If you can deal with being a little bit further away from Magic Kingdom, 
and you can deal with smaller rooms, if you're not going to spend a lot of time there, this may be the route you want to go. But that's how you do it. That is how you book a vacation with military special rates through Disney. You call this number, you speak with an agent, they will ask you what time of year you're looking to go, what resort you want to stay at, what's more important to you, is it price or, you know, deluxe resort, moderate value, what are you looking for? And then you'll you'll narrow it down with them to find the best fit for you. It's a very simple process. I do wish that you could just do this yourself online without calling in. Unfortunately, you don't have that option. But if you want the good rates, go ahead and give them a call. They are magical to speak with, very, very friendly. So now I want to know, what do you guys value the most? Do you value the location or do you value the price? What's more important to you? Maybe another controversial question would be, is the walkway closing from Shades of Green to the Poly enough to make you want to stay at another resort? And if you don't know what I'm talking about, we have a whole video on that walkway and I will link that below so you can check it out. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this was helpful, but don't forget to be happy, not just strong.